are, as most of you already know, I am a bridal consultant, so that just means I live and breathe dresses outside of YouTube, of course. So basically, I just wanted to make this video to help your first appointment or even your last appointment go a little bit smoother. Just some tips that I know that I want to share with you guys because a lot of you probably don't know this going in, and I would have never known this until I started working where I do. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. <music> First tip I have is to know your timeline. So a lot of brides come in not knowing exactly how long it actually takes the dress to come in. Rule of thumb is around five months for most designers it takes to get it made and then shipped over to your shop. Also on top of that, you have to factor in alterations. So that alone, at least for our shop, we like to have around 10 weeks to get you in and out and ready for the wedding. And essentially that gives you about seven and a half months total to get the dress ordered and then altered. Some of you may be freaking out right about now, but there are some other options if you don't have the full seven and a half months. So in that case, you want to look at either having a dress rushed, but some of them do have that option, or getting a dress in stock through designers. Not all the dresses are in stock, actually most of them aren't. But on the off chance, I have been able to find girls a dress and stock the designer and have it come in within about two weeks. Which is probably a good option for those of you that don't have the full seven and a half months to get it in. And don't forget, there's always the option of buying the sample gown from the shop, as long as they're okay with it. Which chances are, if you're paying them, they're going to be fine with it. So in this case, you want to find a dress that is in your size or about two sizes bigger that can still be taken down. So don't worry if you're a little late on the ball of getting your dress. There's still other options. Just tell your consultant when you go into the appointment what your timeline is and they'll probably be able to help you find something that will work. Second piece of advice is to only invite those whose opinions you actually trust. So in this case, I hate it when you have a group of bridesmaids with you that are pushing you into all the dresses that they would wear for their wedding and they're not even thinking about what you look the best in. So if you take those with you, like a lot of people will take their mom, that's pretty normal, and then maybe like a best friend or grandma that can kind of narrow down the other opinions so that yours is the main focus point. Because ultimately it's your decision that matters and you want to feel pretty in the dress that you want to wear, not what someone else thinks you look pretty in and you're not feeling the same way. So honestly, if I were you guys, I would invite the bridesmaids when the dress comes in once you order it because then they can still feel like they have a part of your dress but not actually be involved with picking it out. I don't know, that's just my tip for you guys. You can kind of decide if you want the other opinions and some people are fine and they know when to not say anything but others are just so rude and you just want to slap them but you can't. So know who you're taking with you and what that will kind of affect in your decision. <laughs> Number three is to know your budget. So you kind of want to go into the appointment having an idea of what you're willing to spend just so your consultant and you will know what not to pull because you don't want to pull a $3,000 dress if your budget is around $1,300. That is just going to break your heart when you fall in love and you know you just can't afford it. Narrowing down the options in your budget, you'll be able to find something that you love just as much but you aren't breaking your bank to get it. Now with this, you also want to factor in alterations into your budget because they can cost a lot too. At our store, I want to say average is around 250 for alterations, but I've seen it go as far as like 400 depending on how much customization you're doing. So if you're planning on adding more beading, getting jackets, hemming like a really intense lace dress, that can all cost a lot. So factor in, I want to say probably around 300 for alterations into your budget just so you're not going above and beyond once the dress comes in and then you have another 400 on top of that. Chances are the dress isn't gonna fit perfectly. So I've only seen it like, actually never, I've never seen it to where you didn't need anything at all because you're probably gonna need a bustle just so in the reception you can have the dress lifted up off the floor so no one's stepping on it and completely ripping the dress. And you're also probably gonna need the bust taken in. That's extremely common. For some reason, or not even for some reason, the busts are made bigger because you can take it down, you can't take it out. So girls with really big busts need that extra room. So typically you're gonna need your bust taken in, a hem, and then a bustle. The hem's probably the most expensive part. If you don't need a hem, your alterations aren't gonna be as much. But if you do, it's gonna definitely get up there. Also going in line with knowing your budget, you're gonna wanna have about half saved up just because when you order the dress, typically you're gonna need at least half down to get it ordered. 
Number four is wearing undergarments that you don't mind having your consultant see you on. So I've had a lot of girls that wear Spanx that helps you kind of keep you covered if you are a little more modest, wearing like a nude strapless bra and nude undies. I'm just happy as long as you are wearing undies. Honestly, I could care less if you have a bra on or not. But wear undies to your appointment. And if you forget your strapless bra, which honestly most girls do, a lot of chefs will already have strapless bras readily available for you if you need them. Going along with that, I see naked girls all day long, so don't feel bashful or embarrassed that I'm seeing you at like half naked. I am not judging you. If you let me help you try the dresses on and off, Honestly, your appointment's gonna go a lot faster, and in turn, you're gonna be able to try on more dresses. Because if you're in trying on with like your mom, sometimes there's corsets, and for her, she may not be used to doing it, but I can get a, you in and out within like a minute. And it could possibly take like 15 to 20 minutes having someone else do it. So definitely let us help you. I swear it's going to be better in the long run. Also, if you have the shoes already picked out and you know what heel height you want, bring it with you to your appointment because some of the dresses have different length options. So it's nice to know how much you'll need hemmed off. <laughs> Don't be late to your appointment. I don't know how many times I've had it when I've worked a 10 hour shift and didn't get a single lunch break because someone ran late and then I had to start another appointment right after. So if you're running a little bit late or not coming at all, just give us a call. It's just the polite thing to do. If it's your first time trying on, try to try on all different shapes. I know it's kind of hard to see them hanging on the rack to know what they're gonna look like. So if you're having a little bit of a problem, ask your consultant and tell her ahead of time that you want to try on all the different shapes, and she'll definitely help you pull them. So generally, I like to pull. If it's your first time in, I want you in an A-line, a ball gown, a fit and flare, a trumpet, a mermaid, and a sheath dress. I don't know how many times I've had it to where someone came in specifically telling me they didn't think they'd look good in a mermaid, and then ended up buying that because it looked the best on them. <laughs> Number seven, do not focus on your size. Trust me, it will help you in the long run. At least in US sizing, a lot of designers will have it running about two sizes smaller than what you'd normally wear. So if you normally wear a size six, you're probably gonna be a 10 or even a 12 in the gowns. One of the biggest annoyances for me is people trying on anything but the size they're fitting in or trying to squeeze themselves into a size four when they're like a size 18. You're just gonna leave feeling really, really upset about your body and you're not gonna find anything that way. If you put on something that's in your size or around your size, honestly, you're going to look one, a lot smaller, and two, you're just going to feel a lot better about yourself. So don't focus on the size. I promise it will help you in the long run. If you're trying on something 10 sizes too small, you're going to look like a stuffed sausage. It's just how it works. <laughs> Going along with that, when you get measured to order your dress, pick the size that's fitting you now, not what you want to fit in. It's cheaper and easier to go down than it is to go up when your dress comes in. And a lot of times there's not enough fabric in the seams to make the dress bigger. So you're going to be spending a ton of money on one dress and you may have to buy a whole new dress because you can't fit into the other one. Bones don't shrink and I feel like some people don't understand that. Like you can lose weight but you can't lose your bones. I know we all want to fit into a size 4 and you may lose weight but you might not ever get into that size 4. And honestly I've worked in the back of runway shows before dressing the models and they're wearing size 10s and 12 bridal gowns and they're stick Thin. So the size does not matter. Just say that to yourself. Size does not matter. Once you've found the dress you want, ask the consultant what other option that comes in. Most dresses come in different colors and then possibly even different lengths. This will save you a lot of money if you know that your dress can come in a different length because hemming, like I said, is really expensive. So Maggie Satara and Maury Lee, two of the designers I work with, they come in different lengths some of their dresses depending on if the bottoms are more detailed. And some designers have what's called a hollow to hem, so that's when we go ahead and do tons of measurements and get the dress coming in in the length that you need, which again will completely cut out the need for a hem and will save you a couple hundred dollars probably. <laughs> And finally, number 10, know when to stop looking. I tell the girls this all the time. If you keep looking and you're on sites like Pinterest and God knows what else, you are going to confuse yourself so much. When you find the dress that you feel confident in and you kind of feel attached to it, 
that's the one and you can stop. And don't feel bad if it's your first time out looking. I've had so many girls that have bought on their first time. It's good for you if that happens. Don't feel bad that you haven't gone to a bazillion places. On the other side, if you don't feel attached to a dress and you're not feeling pretty in them, that's your cue to go ahead and keep on looking. Overall, have fun with it. Try not to stress yourself out too much. When it comes down to it, your wedding is going to be special regardless of what you're wearing or not wearing. Just try to enjoy it. So that's the end of my video. I'm planning on doing a bridal series, um, including stuff like how to professionally measure yourself, what types of dresses fit better on different body types, and also a question and answer video. So if you have any questions for me, I would love to hear it and then I could potentially show it in my upcoming video. Also know that I specialize in Maggie Sotero, Maury Lee, and Allure Bridal, so if you have any specific questions about them, feel free to ask because I can probably answer it. And lastly, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!